Tampa and Orlando could become the next mega region. Oh, I mean, like they've been saying it for years. I don't know. We, we got like, why they bring that up. We got like another thirty years before Miami is like water. Yeah. So no, that's why I said. Tampa. So we got another thirty years before New York. No, is that's water. why I said Tampa and Orlando. <laughs> They're going for the central cities now. That's not the Hudson the River. <laughs> Tampa is east or west. That's. Tampa's not a Tampa's central fine. city. Yeah. It's a city, though. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Not a central city. You said central. They're going for the central oh, city. Oh, no, it's no, no, central it, it, Florida. No, no. It counts as central Florida. They say right here, central Florida cities. Like, if you're looking at it like, that way, you know? Yes, I get it, but it's not. <laughs> well, oh, here, no, here's uh, actually how they say Central Florida cities along the Interstate 4 corridor from Tampa Bay to Fuck Orlando. the I-4. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so, Welcome back to Light About Nothing. Turnpike for Yeah, line. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Shit on interstates. Turn Turn hey. This is the Turn way starting podcast. Oh, this, Turn is Turn the energy. this is the energy I want every time. TP gang. <laughs> every time we start, TP I want this energy. Gang. Ain't shit free. Yeah. Ain't no broke boys allowed. Talk to him. <laughs> Talk to him, King. <laughs> Better bring that spare change. Bro, but I got a sun pass, bro. Nah, VIP. I got what a sun pass. Yes, yeah, facts. Mine's facts. Key. It keeps reloading every time I go. It's quite peculiar. So I'm like, where where are my ten dollars going? <laughs> yeah, where, <laughs> where is it going? I did one. Is day. it one twenty five plus tax? The world may never know. Yeah, the world well, is unbelievable. Uh, the world will know. This is a lot about nothing. We were talking about expansive social topics. In the end, we try to figure out why New York is trash. Big facts. I co-sign that. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't co-sign because I don't go there enough to really know. I just look at things on and TV about it. I let guess. me let me go ahead and put this disclaimer of the places I went to New York. Nah, <laughs> not it. Of the places I went. Now New Yorkers are probably gonna hate this because they they've been in New York forever and I'm sure they love it. I'm sure they see the allure and I see the allure, right? Bro, it's a My great place. To before, visit. I, before I start this, to visit. Yeah, I agree with it. Yeah, great place to visit. My name is Chris. This is. Hey, it's Victor. Hello. This is Victor. This is. I am Trey the Third. And we all know the God. It's your boy, Praxis. Yeah. Young, young Faceless. Young Praxis. Young, <laughs> young, one, young one episode of season. No face, no case. <laughs> no face, no case. I was trying to get him in the camera, guys. Sorry. Someone requested that I change the angle, but I'm like, nah. No. <laughs> I'm too savvy. Yeah, facts. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man's nose. Too quick on the draw. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Today, uh, so. You noticed, or I hope you noticed, anybody who likes our podcast and follows us, we didn't have an episode last week. I was in New York Comic Con. Mm -hmm. Trey wow. was in the mountains. I was in North Carolina. It was great. Wearing flannel. India. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Wearing flannel. See how his done, right? Times. See how mm -hmm. his braids are tight now? <laughs> yeah. He, he was yeah, he had mountains. to climb up the mountains to see a specific <laughs> old, bra like 90-year-old woman that specifically <laughs> yeah. braids Bra her. <laughs> yes. Remember Madame Zeroni? They brought up the mountain? <laughs> he went oh to go see her. Oh, my God. Freaking gray beards, bro. What you mean? <laughs> oh, my God. Up high, Rothgar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So today we're going to do a... Um, it's worth it. You look great. Oh, thank you, thank you. We're going to do a New Year Comic Con recap, and Trey could also tell us about his time in the mountains. Oh, my God, yeah. I'm going to try not to spend an hour shitting on New York, but a lot of it's going to be... You know, bad things about, about, nice. about an hour of shit on New York. Yeah, it's like, and we talk about New York, New York, not like New York as a state. Yeah, not no, the state. as a state. It's yeah, like yeah, got yeah. some beautiful land. Yeah, some I'm sure the state looks way better. I kind of fuck with upstate New York. It's beautiful. I haven't been. I, it's, but it's, I it's promise you, probably upstate is way better. <clears throat> it's beautiful. I'm talking about like Queens, Manhattan. Yeah, no, Flushing. The city part. I kind of like Flushing though, but like the inner cities. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Wait, where where were you in Manhattan? What play? What parts of Manhattan did you go to? That's a good question. The Bronx. I don't know. That's a good question. I was uh I went to Midtown. Okay. I went to um Did you go to left town and right town? No, no, no. I went to Center Town. Town, downtown. Uh, <laughs> I went to uh um Times Square. That was a horrible experience. I've not yeah. I was there. We were there. That was there. a bad experience. Um I was there. <laughs> I said, I can't tell you where I went, dude. I just, we just walk way too fucking much. Well, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. A that's, city. that's all you gotta do. Like, you have to walk dude, everywhere. You gotta stop telling me it's a city. I drive here. Okay, this, this ain't the same. This isn't a city. This is not a city. This like is that, in Downey Beach. It is not a city. I'm <laughs> sure we have the name and title, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's a but like, city. That you, New York is, is a, a proper city. metropolitan city. Bro, that's that's Miami, metropolis, right? Right? And I'm not trying to drive in that. Bro. And I hate and driving in Miami. I hate also. driving in Miami, too. Yeah, that's a metropolis, bro. These are the metropolis. Those are places you don't drive in. You just got to walk. You got to walk or take public transportation. Or public transportation. A bike. Sometimes I got the public bikes. But I see why we, why you don't drive in New York. No, mm. I oh, see do not do why. It. Don't do it. Leave I would have to go Uber to yeah. the train and back mm -hmm. for a reason. Yes, as mm -hmm. you should. Yeah, it was. 
Leave it to the taxis and the Ubers, man. Don't walk it. Not yeah. worth it. Yeah. Prax, how you doing, dude? I'm good, bro. Yeah. I'm alive. I'm breathing. Yeah. Feeling good. Yeah. Not eating any red meat. No red meat. Mm-hmm. Never, never, never. It's been over a year. Yeah. Strong. I'm good. Strong. All right. Good I don't miss it. You don't miss it? No, not really. Oh, that's good. I mean, it's but tough. I've, I've never really liked like steak or right, right, right. pork or anything like that. So Some people like, eat that all the time, though. I don't know how people eat yeah. it all the time. Indoctrination, bro. bro. Yeah. I guess that's all it is. Bro, they, you, like, you really, it. like, you don't realize how much, like, you don't need meat with every meal. You, you don't. Know? You really don't. You don't. And it's like, bro, there's so much other food you can eat. Bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially yeah. tofu. Tofu. Oh, is, you know what? I don't mind tofu. As long as it's made right. You gotta, you gotta know how to cook it, but like, once you get it, you get it. Depends on the place. Not Dude. that I eat tofu. I, yeah. I, I can't cook it. So I say this, but I have ribs waiting for me after this episode. <laughs> yeah, no, man. Yeah, Y'all just good. discovering meat substitutes? No. No. <laughs> no. It's been, no, it's been no. getting more famous lately, definitely. Um, yeah. Impossible burgers, impossible meats everywhere. Right, right, right. Plant based. The beyond, plant-based the plant based, mm-hmm. things like that. They're definitely uh, gaining popularity. Chris, how are you? I'm going to ask right now before you even. Worry wow. about me. Nah, I'm worried. Before I worry about you or me, bro, just let me ask wow, you out of the way. That's all I like to hear. I'm trying. I'm trying, bro. <laughs> See, if you drill it long enough, they <laughs> start to get the I'm trying, bro. start to get the hints. God. <laughs> I'm oh, doing good. Fuck. I'm doing great. Don't start um, in New York yet. Don't start in New York yet. Start. No, no, I'm not going to start in New York. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right now, bro, like, how you feel? How you feel, man? Uh, What's going on? I'm a little hungry. Only because I'm thinking about the ribs mm. uh, and and the cornbread. Mm. Um, besides that, I'm feeling okay, feeling good. I signed up for retirement at work. Money? Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to say that. I think it's like a four fifty-seven. Okay, like four. But yeah, I signed up for retirement because I'm eligible now. Woo! Yeah, I got a one percent raise. Let's Ooh. go. Yeah, progress, 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 man. They're trying to keep me. <laughs> yeah, but they know I'm they not. Don't want to train good. nobody else. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. I'm in can't my review. Find nobody else. Really can't. In my review, my boss is like, "Man, I regret not having you sooner." In my head, I'm like, "I could have told you that, nigga." Like, <laughs> I'm the one. Like, I don't know why you looked over my resume. Because the dude, they had they had him for like a couple weeks, and he was ass. I was like the last resort. I'm like, "What you talking about, man? I'm, I'm the best." And we're not even doing anything. Damn, dude. they had you on the bench. Crazy. Mm. Turns out you were Jeremy Lin. Oh, he got dreads now. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not mad at it. To be honest, I don't really care. <laughs> well, see, this this is a good question. This came up with. Uh, I don't know if you. Um, What's up? I don't know if you saw Lisa with her yeah. new video. How a bunch of people were like. Really upset. Lisa the artist. Lisa the artist of Blackpink. What she did? Yeah, Blackpink. Uh, she's she had. Got a, a she solo had solo. dreads. Well, not dreads. She had like red braids. Yeah, they, oh, they looked okay. kind of. I'm not gonna lie. They looked silly. <laughs> like, like if you, I feel. I don't know. Like I do. Like it is a kind of like a touchy subject of like whether or not certain people can have certain hairstyles. No, I, that's that's the main question I wanted to ask. Like where. Where is the, or the like, thin line? Where is this like appropriation? Um, appropriation. Appreciation. Mm-hmm. Appreciation. Yeah. I, I mean, if it's like, not dreads, I think it's fine. If it's, personally. If it's now in terms of dreads, is it like to the root or? Oh, um, I it, personally think any form of dreads. Take a practice. You know, right? right here. Oh, yeah. You said it sounds different. Booming. All oh right. my God. <laughs> Yo, hot, bro. You were wrong the whole time. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, oh, you yeah, see, yeah, those see. are fine, brother. That's whatever. That's literally oh, like, exte- uh, I mean, that looks like extensions, bro. Yeah, they don't like, they don't really look fine. That's what I, that, my main question was like: if it's like extensions or like to the root, yeah, producer, like, full producer like, in the back. like I don't yeah. know. I, I do think it, it does look a little bit silly because it looks like like rope. Yeah, yeah it does. Kind of you know, like it doesn't rope, really yeah. look like. Literally. Well, I think the, I think for the main part of that, the red was to contrast the mm-hmm. outfit. The outfit, but you yeah. could have you could have wore a, a hat. She didn't get it from the black store. Either. That's look, what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. like yeah. if you're gonna yeah. if you're gonna yeah. yeah. rock a black hairstyle, you gotta at least support black businesses. Black businesses, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm with you. So like. That that's kind of where I'm at on it, um. Just like, uh, I I feel like people are gonna con- like they're gonna claim cultural appropriation about everything, mm-hmm. like True. comparing to a certain degree. So you're gonna have to do your best to show appreciation for it. Right, that's true. <laughs> yeah, so, like this yeah. is different than like the Native American headdress thing, where right. it's like a created item that represents them, but literally like with hair. Technically, realistically, all hair can be made into dreads or made into braids if you mm-hmm. like work it hard enough. Mm-hmm. And Historically, obviously, you know like where they certain, came from, certain hairstyles look better with certain, you know, they looks. Just do. Yeah. So, yeah. like, you know, some people's hair just like, uh, especially 
like when when people talk about it from uh like k-pop and things like that like uh like you do see you see it a lot less now with um people with dreadlocks mm-hmm. or like some type of like dreaded plaited hair because yeah. like a lot of it is so rooted in this is a hip-hop concept yes. and yeah, things yeah, like yeah, that yeah, like yeah. you could t- it's it's you fast it's food from. it's disingenuous in a, in a sense mm-hmm. like you know they not really bout it about it no yeah. so like exactly that's why it does feel like a costume because at the end of the day they take it off they, they literally take it, take it off, it off. Yep. Mm-hmm. and then they can go back to being the korean beauty standard mm-hmm. you know so like that's why it rubs people the wrong way i get that yeah so like if you if you gonna rock it you better just you better support black have a solid reason support for it yeah that's what i'm saying that's facts no i'm with that yeah yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see it until just now. So I don't. Yeah, know. I mean either. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even see it. About it. Yeah. Thank you, Momo. I appreciate you because I didn't even see the hair. Producer until Momo. Okay. And li- yeah. literally the way she wore it. Screen woman. Yeah, Screen. right. Yes. Screen. No, dude. Woman. The, like the way she wore it, it really was an accessory added onto her hair, and right. it wasn't like if it was done town to her, and she was like, "No, I literally got these braids." By like a black person who knows me or like at a salon, like, and I've I, worn and I, cornrows. And I, think, and I think hairstyles yeah. are so important to people. In a sense, they like are. when it, when when you have a hairstyle, that is a a mark or a stamp on your identity for yeah. a short and period culture. of time. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, in your culture for that mm-hmm. period of time. Like I could look back at the, like old hairstyles that I used to have, where I was like, I was like, I had the 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 low, um, you know, not a like what is that? Like it was like, like a season. It was like hella short, like like a short fade, right? That yeah, was yeah, yeah, that yeah. was bald. Will I wasn't even bald? <laughs> right, I, right, I didn't, right, I didn't get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so like I had that, and then I started growing my hair out, and then I had like the blowout afro look, yeah. and then I, you know, chopped the sides, and I rocked the flat top for a little bit, and yeah. you know, like those are those are like moments, marks in my. I remember the, in some, my life, some of those. You know? yeah. I remember the flat. I remember top. some of those. So like, yeah, and it's like you gotta have to. That was the first time I met you. You had the flat top. Oh my oh, god. Same. Oh, really? That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. God, damn. <laughs> what age is that? Yeah. Uh, if y'all don't know, we've been knowing school. Momo and Will for a minute. Yeah. Way, way back in the day days. The before four times. I want to <laughs> say. <laughs> the before four times. Yo, I hear people say, referring to the before, pre-COVID, like the before time. Like, shit, the, the before, before time. time. Yeah, but it, it, really, <laughs> it really do feel like that. Bro, yeah. shut up. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> no, no, no. Shut listen, the fuck Victor, up, bro. Listen, listen, bro. Do, though. listen, Victor, bro. Give it a couple years and you will also believe it was a before time. There ain't like, no goddamn before time. There's a before time, bro. Listen. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing different. We just had a fucking pandemic. I yeah, mean, get yeah. over it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, like Texas. Texas. But, like, look what happened. Look what happened. Look what happened after that. Though. Yeah, yeah. Look how look how our like the we had the a matrix. The matrix has truly been broken right now. <laughs> right. We don't know what the fuck we're doing on this planet. That's a fact, bro. There's a pandemic. You needed to stay home and be safe. Some people no, didn't. Need I it. mean, there's. It's not a big deal. It really isn't. the The way this whole lockdown and thing has been overblown and politicized is crazy. I politicize is the is is the right one. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna they politicize say, it for no reason. It, By it, the way, get vaccinated. Yeah, also Do vaccinated. It. But I I heavily feel like I agree with you. It, it it angers me because it should have been something way simpler because of the body of knowledge that we have nowadays. How are we now more ignorant on vaccines than we were in the past? When we had polio, <laughs> we were like, yo, let's fix this ASAP and because it literally hurts. Yeah. Why are we making this take longer than it needs to? We see people actively dying. We see children actively getting sick. Like we can visually see it happening. Yeah. We had the science for this entire pandemic to like record and see people affected by it. And that's like, and they, were still they, like, like what at, do you the, mean? at the height of uh, the infections in America, it was like 3000 people dying a day. Yeah, that's, dude, that's, like, crazy, that's a nine eleven every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. for like months. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, mm-hmm. bro, you, <laughs> obviously something's going something wrong. Something's going wrong. Something. Like, we should that, probably the, do the, something about it. <laughs> I think I said this before. The crazy thing to me was like they were asking for like a a, a solution or like a cure mm-hmm. or a vaccine, yep. and it came, and now everyone and then everyone hated was it. Skeptical, yeah. yeah, and then they hated it. Yeah. Yes, but which, now like I think over eighty percent of us are vaccinated or something like that. But I, I what mean, is it? Some people are coming around. Yeah. I actually some, only, been, some stop at one dose, which is also a um, sir <laughs> annoying thing. They literally yes. stop at what they'll get it. All right, I'm, I don't want another one. I'm good. No, no you, you got to get the second. That's, that's, not, that's not how it works. It's not helping anyone, my guy. There's, I mean, there's, there's literally a brand of the vaccine where you could just take one shot. Just get that one, bro. Yeah, Someone yeah, yeah. just pay for it, but they yeah. won't do it. No, no, no. They it's free it. too. Start getting people free because stuff. they're reluctant. They won't do the extra research. Unbelievable. To learn yeah. what is actually good for them you know yeah yo shout out to like no polio that's great i was actually I'm watching really no polio what is that i was watching um uh 
Oh, what no, is it? Captain America. Have, yeah. Winter Soldier. Yeah. I was just like rewatching on Disney Plus and like it was uh, the very beginning part where he's like talking to Falcon, being like on your left and then all that stuff. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, so like, what's it like, you know, out in the real world after all that time? He's just like, oh, it's great. You know, no more polio. That's great. <laughs> important. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's really yeah. important. Yeah. Yeah. No more polio. Dude, no, we don't got to deal with iron lungs. Yeah, I, I, I saw a YouTube video on that like years ago and I was just like, if we if this happened. Yeah, and yeah. you live through this time. How Crazy. could you, you at any point like be a person who's completely anti-vax or completely it's weird? Yeah. Working with like scientists and like speaking doctors. of uh, iron lungs. Do you know that Radiohead album? The one with uh, the dude is like his head's like on the thing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's like uh, when they were when they got the photograph for that, they were actually trying to photograph an iron lung because it was supposed to be like the, the theme of the album or some shit. Uh, they ended up not doing it because there were people using the iron lung. Oh. So like, <laughs> it's an iron lung. Literally. Yeah. Oh, so they so instead they just like oh uh, photographed God. like a CPR dummy, and that's wow. why it looks like that. <laughs> huh. I didn't know that. The plot thickens. I don't remember the name of the album, but we could put it in post if y'all really care. But <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can find it if I remember. I usually should write these things down, but I don't. He never remembers. Just Trey, how are you, dude? You never asked how you doing? Huh? Oh, thanks, man. I, I don't know the name. Appreciate that. Right. That's the one. Oh. Is it? Turn it over again. Hold on. Momo's awesome. She's showing us the image right now on her little iron laptop. She's a producer. She's a yeah. screen woman. She's really great and awesome. Oh, it's small. Oh, yeah. oh, it is a crash oh. test dummy. Yeah, it's like a CPR dummy. It's it's just like cool. looks. That's interesting. Weird. Yeah, you're right. Okay. It's not a crash test dummy. It's a CPR dummy. It's a CPR, Very CPR, different yeah, dummy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're they're in like a like a, a hospital or something like that. Oh, uh, weird. Also, thank you. Uh, how am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm good doing. Uh, I'm doing very good. Um, things have been really cool lately. I had yeah. a great freaking adventure up in the North Carolina, and um, oh man, like that was just amazing, <laughs> dude. Like, I loved it. So, back out here. Um, Chop any trees? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to so bad, but I didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. We started a fire, which was nice. Trey like Bunyan. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Yeah. Trey Bunyan. Yeah, we're making it out here. Yeah. It was fun, bro. Um, nice. I'm doing good, man. Things nice. are good. Be money. Talk to me. Gang, gang. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare say the same, bro. How you doing, bro? Come on, bro. Stop it. I saw it forming in your Look throat, bro. Stop, smile bro. Is. He's like, I'll do it. I'll say it. I'll say it. I said, I said, I said, I said I'll say it. I'll, I'll say it. Well, nothing changed. <laughs> <laughs> While you guys are out on trips, I was home depressed. <laughs> you should have came, came to New York, bro. It would have made you depressed. I would, see, I, would, I considered it, but I was like, I nah. thought about the amount of money I would have spent. A lot. Not just on the Comic Con itself, just uh, on the food. A lot. Yeah. I'm um, just saying. That's the irony, though, in, in our trip, because we spent so much money buying stuff. Mm -hmm. We didn't really buy, like, good food. Mm. We had, like, That's a shame. We had, like, pizza. That's a damn shame. We had, like... I take trips to New York like just food. for food. Yeah, but the pizza in New York. Yeah, but they spent so much time walking around the different water. stores. Bro, we went to... The <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. I mean, yeah, that's it's, fair. It's in, it's, in this, it's in this thing. Wait, stores in, like, in, in New York, or do you mean at, at the con? Stores in New York. We spent money at the con, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Bro, mm -hmm. oh... All right, I'll start with this. Mm. So expensive. <laughs> so expensive. To go to the con and like... Everything. Yeah. Oh. Everything oh. is very expensive. No poor person should ever be living in Manhattan in the city. <laughs> There's no reason for you to be there. So at the con, right, I wanted... Uh, we bought, I bought... We stood... Okay. We stood in line for like 45 minutes just to stand in another line for 20 minutes, right? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> first we had to stand in line to get in. Yeah, for another forty-five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we went to, we finally got to where we were going, and I bought this fig pen of um, Madara from Naruto. Bless, bless, bless. And I bought this hat. Together, this cost me forty-nine dollars. Sorry, what? What was the other thing you bought? It's a fig pen. It's a figurine pen. That's that's Just it? a pen. Paying yeah, the contacts, pen. bro. Pen, and this hat, forty-nine dollars for the two of them. Contacts. Yeah. I sold the. I sold. I sold the pen. By the way, <laughs> I sold the pen. I, I had my homie sell the pen because they're like into into that world where people appreciate yeah they like, like pens and know stuff like who that. would want it yeah. yeah to know who'd want it so I had them sell it to me so I made my money back on that one but that's important I'm stuck with the hat I like the hat yeah, I wanted it, the yo, hat because I thought what, it was gonna what's be on like, what it says bro what's on it the just says NYCC oh, oh okay. New York, New York Comic Con yeah. uh -huh. well, that's wholesome oh gang well, yeah. like that's pretty fun. cool it's just a memento I didn't think it was gonna cost me. Thirty dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. So very expensive. 
But I see how that so, could be a problem. Is this, have you been to big cons like this before? Yeah, we went no, to MegaCon. Yeah, I've been, Megacon, I've been to Anime. Um, I've been to SuperCon. SuperCon, yeah. SuperCon. Yeah. Oh, it's actually, very expensive. I went to SuperCon this year. How was it? It was cool. Yeah. Um, it was uh, the, you know, the SuperCon in Were Miami. People wearing yeah. masks or not? Yes. Was it mandatory or was yeah, it just you had recommended? to you had to wear a mask. Yeah, of course. Um, I was curious. So yeah, like uh, me and my my homie, we like just went for one day, just trucked it down there, and then uh, what is it? I was in cosplay, and uh, yeah. like we went oh, on a Friday. Where'd you go? Sanjiro? No, I did uh, Tokoyami. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, yeah. So, nice. that was cool. oh, you had the giant head and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. That, that is beautiful. And um, yeah, I just yeah. like I Joke need just like walked around. It was cool. <laughs> Masks are part of my costume. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to. Yeah, have see, I was I was COVID friendly from the get go. Yeah, easy. <laughs> and like, yeah, it was it was cool. It, it felt like the pandemic didn't like uh like like it felt like it was over in a way, where it's like uh it, like it just felt like things went back to normal. There was mm. a decent amount of people. Of course, there were masks. So, like, yeah. everything went back to normal, but with masks. <laughs> you know mm. what I mean? Um, it was cool. Uh, yeah, they actually had a, a surprising amount of food in the in the con. Because I know that's a problem with a lot of cons, especially down in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they just, they they just don't, don't care. Do food, bro. They yeah. don't so, do so, in uh, New York, right, they had, a, they had an area where food trucks were. Mm. By the way, lots of food stalls. Ow. You should never go hungry in the city. Yeah. <laughs> but... They had an area where food trucks were, and then they, then there's like a little cafeteria area where they were selling food there, and then there's like a little bistro they had set up in there. Mm. So I mean, food was everywhere. But I went, I went to the little bistro because I wanted something quick. They had like pre-made sandwiches. Yeah. I didn't want to wait in another line after having <laughs> waited like six <laughs> lines before that. Every, every that's what you do at a con. It's just line after line. Just every lines, time bro. we went out, I'm like, I don't want to wait in another Especially line. Especially for something that famous. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So I went to the little bistro and like. I was getting a sandwich and then they called me and I'm like, yo, uh, what's the face wants a sandwich? Omar wants a sandwich. I'm like, oh, come on, man. Y'all could have got up too. Yep, they could have. I'm like, all right, fine. I get three sandwiches and a Dasani. I didn't even want a Dasani. That's rough. Hold it's on, nasty let's water. I hate Dasani too, but let's, let's, guess. let's guess the total, boys. Hold, hold on. So three sandwiches <laughs> and a Dasani. Hold on, hold on. Okay. How much do you think it was? Let's guess, boys. We're going 14 each sandwich. 14 each sandwich and that Dasani was at least $6. I'm gonna uh, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it was at least six, bro. Give I me a round that. number. So total uh, 60, I'm gonna go 69, 420. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, go, it, bro. I'm gonna go 30 bucks. I'm gonna go with uh, 45. He's close. Dang it, you you're took me 45. Uh, I'm gonna go 48. You're the closest. Whoa. But you oh, see, he's closer no. without going over. It's oh. 47. dollars <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> For three Subway sandwiches, <laughs> son, they were horrible sandwiches. On cold, hard. Br- Damn, bro, I'm disgusted. I was. So you know when upset. you don't have be heated. You know when you don't have money to get food at like school for like school lunch. So yeah, they like that's the they hand you the ham and cheese shit, bro. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> this was in the con. In the con, bro. Inside, inside the, the con. With the no, strawberry milk, bro. Is, oh, God, with the, they don't have oh, the strawberry man. milk no more. They got rid of that. They got rid of that. Oh, hell, got rid of that. You could have spent that money somewhere else, dude. Yeah. Like a really good you could, restaurant. You could have I know. Head, bro. I know. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> at least. At least. You could have flipped another pen. At yeah, least. Facts. Yeah. Super facts. Well, 100%. Crest paid that contact. But yeah, no, no. When I was at when I had weekend, that dude, that's so hard. Bad. I'm so sorry. Damn. <laughs> but like, yeah, at, at Supercon, there was food there. Like, there was like an assortment. There was like a little, like, uh, a food. What's it called? Like a like a cafeteria. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. had like tables and everything. They had like you know they had like pizza and hot dogs, hamburgers, all that stuff, right? And they're all like their own little vendors. And mm. one of them was Chinese food. And I was like, whoa! I just That's ate vegetables at a convention. What? That's I had broccoli. It was great. <laughs> it was great. I mean, like not the price, but it was it was food. Like actual food. Yeah. Do I think that's a step in the right direction? Are, I don't know. I just have never tried. I think or never really cared to look or no. I, ha- I don't know. Do cons stop you from bringing food in? Yes, one hundred percent. Okay, I, was, I that's did why not know. you sneak it in. Yeah, oh, you gotta I was sneak saying it in. that. I was like, it's possible to have a character. That's why you get who has like a backpack or, or a box backpack, on their yeah. back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tundra. They check those. The, yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, this they have a security those. checkpoint, my guy. Listen, with the metal with the metal <laughs> sensor thing too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they and okay. they open your bag. Gotta sneak it, bro. Yeah, they op- you have to open your bag. No, you gotta you gotta smuggle it in. Okay, so if all the ingredients are in separate cough. parts of my body, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 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 just yeah. cosplay as like someone pregnant. Yeah, <laughs> easy, yeah. easy, easy. People. They can't lift up your dress. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're guys though, but yeah. So well, I mean, you do whatever you want. 
Okay. Never all right. Mind. So let me we'll start from the beginning. So I'm okay. sorry, y'all. So the Victor, tickets, how are day, you? Day we one. already asked him. Huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 we asked him. Con day one. Yeah. Well, not really day one. Getting the tickets. Oh. <laughs> wow. So the tickets there. were. I think I paid seventy two dollars for the ticket just for Saturday. Mm-hmm. So it was a one day ticket. So I paid seventy two dollars for that. Well, let me clear. The homie Diego bought them and then he um, he gifted it to us, and I just I just paid him. Ah. Huh. So. You have to get the you have to get the ticket. You have to activate the card, and they they sent they sent him the cards. Then once you get the card, then you can go and register as a fan. So to get the card, you have to register as a fan, and then it will recognize that the card is active. And then when the card is active, then you can like register for like your panels, or like register to be in line yeah. <laughs> for like a pop, like some exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Some of my friends registered to go see John Cena. So, <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of fans in an empty room. Yeah, obviously they didn't see anything. <laughs> <Get it>? so. <laughs> Where is he? Yeah, he's there. I promise. Uh, so, but I'm t- so sorry. we got the tickets, and I registered for a Demon Slayer panel, mm. but it didn't click in my head that the Japanese voice actors wouldn't be there. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was the dub, dub actors. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. When Ooh. I went, it was the dub actors. But it didn't click in my head when I registered for it. I'm of like, course. oh, Demon Slayer. Yeah, it was there. I also registered to get a DBZ uh, figurine, mm. but I uh, got a Goku figurine. I didn't know it was going to be $60, but you have to, you know, go, you have to register because it's exclusive to the con. Yeah. So you, you have to go, they'll scan your card and you got to wait in line to buy the $60 DBZ. Oh, damn. Yeah. Mm. Me and, and like one of the, a couple of my homies waited for it, but I didn't go. So I gave him my card. So he, he could buy two and like sell it. Oh. Yeah. Goku solos. Yeah, for sure. Pretty clean. So except for Sailor Moon, she yeah. scares me. Sailor Moon. <laughs> no, I never had. I never seen like a. You know what? Yeah, you're right. I, I, agree. I, I know what you mean. <laughs> so we got the tickets. Flying out there, we got. Well, it was our. It was a struggle to get plane tickets with these dudes because I kept telling them, "Yo, we gotta buy early, or it's gonna go up. We gotta buy early," and they're like, "No, we'll just fly Spirit." I'm like, "Hmm, damn." <laughs> You'll fly spirit. <laughs> I want to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Never in straight. my life. Yeah. My flying spirit. Yeah. I, I want to get well, there. And oh, then, I flew spirit before, but nothing more than three hours. So oh, that's too much still. <laughs> but then like when they were buying the tickets on spirit, they figured out it was actually more money than like on the jet blue that I suggested. Oh, but we all ended up going Delta. So <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, okay. They, no one just met them there in Jet Blue. I, I, yeah. I met them there. I met her there about like on a different Delta flight. Uh. Like I went to Fort Lauderdale. They went to Miami. Oh. Yeah. yeah. yeah they made everything difficult on the first flight. It does I'm seem like, a lot of difficult uh, steps there. Yeah. Not me. I I feel as easy as possible. I even got the comfort seat. I'm different. Damn. I see. You, yeah, they didn't want to pay money. They're like, this man Chris want to fly first class. I'm like, yeah. What are you talking about? I'm on a plane for like two and a half hours. Oh, shit. Uh, Maybe three hours. What is it? You uh, flying on, uh, what is it, JFK? No. No, LaGuardia. 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 Yeah, LaGuardia. So we we're going to Queens. I love that so. word. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. LaGuardia. Yeah, right next. LaGuardia. So we booked the Airbnb uh, over a couple days because Airbnb was like What's wrong with you? seven. It's a funny word. I don't know. Can you not? <laughs> it's a funny word. LaGuardia. LaGuardia. Let, let him have this. Guard. <laughs> That's for you. That's for you. I appreciate you. I'm sorry. That's for you in your brain. It's a good word, okay, Momo? Stop judging me. Guardia. Stop it. So, <laughs> so we paid for the Airbnb over a couple of days because it was on my card. Everybody is not an adult, so I'm an adult with a credit card. What? Wait, what? That's not true. Okay. No, they, like, had, they had credit cards, but everyone's being skeptical. I'm like, let me just put it on my card. Everybody just pay me. Mm-hmm. If they never got an Airbnb before? I don't think they have. So, yeah, but we got uh, we got an Airbnb. The dude was cool. It'd be like that. Yeah, the dude, Airbnb dude was cool. So we pay for that, and then so we flew into LaGuardia. We got Ubers to to the crib, and the the key was really cool because the key is like electronic. He just sent me like I had to download this app, and he sent me a code, huh. and I input the code, and it gave me access to the door. So I locked and unlocked the door through an app. Oh, that's Bluetooth. intriguing. As I'm near the door, it just locates Bluetooth. I unlock and it's like. Wee! Unlocks and then go through the door. It's pretty huh. cool. Oh, yeah. But our room was on like the third floor of like a, a, uh, like a, I don't even, it's a house. It's not an apartment building. Okay. You feel me? It's a house that's just you. like, cause you know, in New York, they build up, not out. Of course, of course. So everything is like mad floors, but it's like a, it's like a three floor crib where like this is 
this like a little like small house on the first floor mm-hmm. and one on the second and then ours was on the third. I feel, I feel it cool. was a decent it was a decent spot for like Queens. <laughs> you feel me? Mm. And we weren't like in the hood. Yeah. So it was it was okay. We were hood adjacent though. Let me be clear. <laughs> we were very hood adjacent. So <laughs> So the first day, oh, this is gonna be funny. You heard gunshots? Hmm? No, no, oh, okay, okay. no, no. We were next to like a, we were next to a Korean church, and like Russians were across Ooh. the street. Ooh, there's like a food truck across the street That's too. So it was good. Yeah, the Korean church was huge too. I'm like, dang, they love it over here. Um, so the first day we had to go take the train. So we, t- we took another Uber. I'm telling you, Uber had a field day with my card. <laughs> <laughs> Every ride was ten to fifteen dollars. So. We took an Uber to the uh, to the subway, the MTA. Took an Uber to the subway. We each got a metro card, loaded up with like twenty bucks for the for the duration of the trip. It was like it's actually twenty one dollars because it was twenty bucks plus they charge you one dollar for like I don't know it was like a tax or something like that. So I had like a twenty in cash, so I did nineteen, and then they added a one dollar and made the twenty, so it was perfect. So we took the seven train. This is for New Yorkers or whoever's been in New York. Mm-hmm. We took the seven train to uh, 34th Street in Hudson, which mm-hmm. is straight in the city. That was like a 40 minute train ride, 35, 40 huh. minute train ride. Train ride. The first time was bad. Like the train's quiet. We got we each got seats. Everybody got seats. It was empty. I didn't realize how long the train was because then you don't, you only get in the car that's like in front of you. Yeah, you don't really like try to run back to like. Yeah, you don't guy. see everything. Yeah, else you can't on, see so. The first ride there was fine. Once we got there, we had to go. We walked around a little bit. And let me tell you, the buildings in New York, fantastic. Super nice architecture. Looking up, you can see why, like, people are like, <laughs> yeah. People like it. Yeah, people there are like, is this a is where are made of. Yeah, dude, there is a wonder to, like, staying on the ground and looking up. And, yeah. Like, there is no sky around. There's it's literally straight buildings. human creation. Like, that's awesome. Yeah, it's straight architecture. It's really mm. dope. There's, a there's like, this building I took a picture of. Maybe I'll put it here. I I forget. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I just took a picture of it. And I'll probably put it over Victor's head. Maybe. I'll, if I remember. And while you're doing that, remember to hit the like button on and the video. Also, and the like subscribe button that's going across Trey's face right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Plop, 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 yeah. plop, plop. <laughs> Momo, hit can that you drop notification that down? bell. <laughs> building. Uh, uh, weird building picture. Poor building picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very descriptive. Right. Useful, useful. So we had to go get our green wristbands that says we're vaccinated. So before all this, you had to download an app. You had to do like a face scan and like an ID scan. You mm-hmm. have to scan your Vax card. Only vaccinated people allowed. So you have to scan your Vax card and everything. It's called a clear app. It's the one they use for like the airports and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we had to go to like a, an area where they're giving out the, uh, the wristbands. Show them your clear app. Make sure your ID is on there. Boom, you got a wristband. And man, they tightened the heck out this fucking wristband. Because it was like a, um, it's like a cloth wristband with like a, I don't even know what that connector oh, is. Like a zip tie one? Or? No, it's no. not even a zip tie. You can't pull it off. There's is it no the, one. like the button one? Like the, the clamp? Like the, like one of those? I think. Is this like a new technology of wristband? It's, it's plastic, right, right? It's in my bag, actually. I ripped it. Yeah, I ripped it off of my bag. Hurry, proxy, please. <laughs> Oh, we need it, Proxy. Yeah. I need to know now because he's, like, he's hyping it up, and I'm like, what newfangled yeah, technology I think, I think I still have could on. he possibly be talking about the wristband? There's Is it like, so a, much. Um, it's like a clamp where you pull one end of the cloth and it tightens? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's this thing. Mm. Let me hear oh, I've never and seen I that cut my it life. Off. This yeah, is yeah. actually new technology. To oh, make. yeah, yeah. This, the, um, the, the one year I went to... Minecon. They head, had those. Head in the Clouds Festival. Oh, really? For 88 Rising. Uh-huh. They had the same thing. They had these? Okay. Mm-hmm. Pray show it to the camera. Yeah, please. I know nothing about these. Look at the fine technology here. Do you see this little thing? Damn, I kind of want to go to yeah, yeah, yeah. Head in the Clouds this yeah. year. Oh. So they made that the dummy lineup? tight. <laughs> uh, I saw part of it. I didn't see the whole thing. It's kind of spicy. Yeah. Just, it's on my New York right now. <laughs> so they made. <laughs> I kind of want to go too, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, let's go. So they made that dummy tight. My man Sam couldn't even take it off. So he had like showered and everything with it on. <laughs> Because you can't cut it until after the con. Right. So <laughs> I was able to like jimmy mine off. Yeah. It, it was ridiculous. No, but just butter up your. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. I put my hand and I jimmy it off. The whole forearm. Yeah. yeah. But now I know I can get out of handcuffs. Don't tell the cops. Yep. <laughs> so after. Skills. Uh, 
skills. I guess. So after we got our, our green things, we were walking down, right? Just kind of looking around, seeing the archite- architecture, seeing over the river and stuff like that. So as we're walking down, we run into a, a group of dudes selling their mixtapes. Oh, oh, fire. Uh, uh, it was I a group you, of black dudes selling their mixtapes. And one of them put me aside. He's like, yo, big bro, you want, <laughs> can you, yo, you got you like good music, bro? I forgot what he said, the type of music it was. Like, yo, peep this, peep this. And I'm like, all right, yeah, sure, sure, sure. No problem. He gave me one and his homie gave me one. And as I'm walking away, he's like, yo, yo, let me get, let, let me get 20 for like a donation. What? And I'm like. 20? I'm like, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm like, nah, I'm good, bro. Am I am I funding the mixtapes? Yeah, shit. bro. Like, like, yeah. Do I get like uh, royalties? Am I a credit <laughs> on the on the album? Uh, can Special I sign thanks? You? Get credit? <laughs> yeah. am I, can can I, I be sign a credit contract? <laughs> so wait, so how did they send you the like the mixtape? Did they just have it like it's a CD? They it's gave CDs, me a bro. CD. Um, not it, many people use CDs. They anyway. gave me That's a crazy. CD. They still practice. trying, man. They still trying. So yeah. I mean, like people out there, they I'm looking it's at the this, technology they have. You know, I'm looking I mean, at this, like, in my like little little uh, little marketing facts or not facts, but like a little marketing thing you could do if you're a, a musician and if you're trying to like get people to listen to your music. Realize a lot of people use streaming, and of course, a lot of people use Spotify. Let so if you put you. your <laughs> let me, your waveform, let me let me stop you right there. Mm. On the CD or on the pack that had the CD on it, it had yeah. all the streaming sites that music That's, was on. See? Ooh. That's what you need But to they do. tried to sell me the CD. <laughs> Why don't you just sell me the card no, with no, the no, sites? No, 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 no. They weren't selling. No, they were asking for a donation. That's no. different. Yeah. See? Okay. See? But, it was a donation. Listen, so they asked for a $20 donation, and I'm like, nah, bro, I'm good. They're like, all right, all right, bro, maybe next time. And he suddenly took the CDs away from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> they took them back. <laughs> <laughs> the one part I did not expect. I, right. I, I would have just like taken it. a photo of it's the, a, of like the. Songs. I didn't care for the music. That's the issue. <laughs> was it good? <laughs> I didn't listen to it. So, <laughs> I can. I mean, I, can, I still can. I have the, like the the video. It's all. It's on. It's on the vlog that I put up. Mm. I put up a vlog yesterday about yeah. the first day. Mm-hmm. Second mm-hmm. day coming soon. Vlog gonna be right here above Victor's head. Hopefully, if I have space. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Vlog's gonna be right there. I'll put a little snippet. Oh, I hate you. So. I, later, later, later. <laughs> so um so they took the cd back from me and then i started to walk away and i look back and no one else is behind me so my man diego he's the one from new york he's supposed to be our guide he walks away and he starts laughing and i look back and all my homies are swarmed so i'm like damn these boys pull out the wallets i run back and i'm like yo yo we good we good we good we good we good so i went to my man e i'm like yo put your put your phone away because i told dude i didn't have cash and he's like, nah, I would take cash app. What you mean? And I'm oh like, nah. My I'm, God, <laughs> I'm like, no. The no. Hustle, they're, they're really talking up the like hustle, friends, don't bro. Stop, bro. Uh, Even hustle, the homeless stop. people got the like, I got a square. Hustle you. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Everybody. Well, people were selling used cards for the day. Mm. So oh. whoever came out of like the con for the day, they sold like this. Some dude got their card. And he was trying to sell it to passerbys who didn't have like an entrance card for the day. Oh. So they're like, yo, card, entrance cards. Anybody want passes, IDs, yeah, IDs, I got passes, I got passes. And I'm like, these that, niggas is hustling. Yeah, that hustle. right there, that's the American dream right there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> they're turning I'm around. Like, these boys are hustling the one day cards. They were there every day. <laughs> Absolutely. So as yeah, I, I, bet I they look made back, some bank though, honestly, dude. Maybe. But the thing is, the guys who were telling me the CDs had rolls of money in their hand because they probably got all these nerds. Of course. They just swarmed them to give them money they for their wag mixtape. Yeah. They know they're doing. Yeah. Come on. So they'll be at the convention center later that week too. Probably like, there, whatever yeah, the hell they got there. going yeah. on next. Yeah, <laughs> like I guarantee you, bro. Like half the nerds there are not gonna step up to these dudes no. asking to buy their CD. No, no, no. This is gonna pay. This is not they're gonna, gonna be put up. it in their hand and be like, "Yo, so let me get that donation. What's good?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the kids are gonna be like, "Wait, they're gonna pull out their wallet." Exactly. What do I do? Do I give the CD back? Do I say no? I don't want to say no. I feel like it might be. Me. Yeah, in reality, yeah. he's gonna be like, "Okay." They get intimidated, right? Yeah. So I it's, think a, it's a lot to take in. It's a lot. It's mad dudes. It's mad dudes. So as I took it back from me, I look back and all my homies like swarm. You gotta be used to it. Okay? We're, we're used to it. We understand. Yeah. Just walk off. We understand. Certain people will not. Yeah. Will so I go back and one of my mans has his phone out. Like he, ca- he cashed out him was like $5. I'm like, all right, good. We good. We good. We good. We good. We good. And I pulled him out. <laughs> and then another one of my homies cashed him like, ca- uh, gave him like 10 bucks. And I'm like, yo, we good. We good. We good. We good. And I look back. I see my man Stan. Stan's flowing by like four dudes. And he pulled out his wallet. The issue with that is because they see how much we, money you have. Also, the thing is, we like, all got cash for the con, so we all put out like two hundred bucks. So he pulled out his wallet, and they all saw that money, and their eyes flashed yep, yep, wide. Yep, 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 yep. And one dude's like, "Yo, match my twenty, match my twenty. Yo, let me get changed for hundred. 
And oh, I'm like, no. no. I go, I'm like, yo, we good. We good. Yo, Stan, Stan, let's go. Let's go. Let's yeah, go, Stan. Yeah, you got to skate, bro. Yeah, and as I pulled him out, he had already given him $40. That's I'm like, two Damn, CDs, bro. They got Stan. He, so- he got his CDs. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't take those back. But I, if I didn't pull him, they would probably took all his money. Damn. Yeah, they would have. And I'm like, would've. this man Diego just standing there doing nothing. You're the New Yorker. Oh. <laughs> You're supposed to protect these men. How you just walk Bro. away and start laughing? Come on. <laughs> got but fleeced. They got to stand for 40 bucks. I'm like, damn, not nah, damn. <laughs> but he got fleeced. Man, for sure. Hustled for sure, for sure, for sure. Jeez. Yeah, so Stan got hustled. You're not even at the con yet. Bro, he could have bought a hat con, with yeah. that $40. <laughs> that's his second hat of the day, bro. Come on. Or oh like, that's, like, that's like two sandwiches and like two Dasani uh, waters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ridiculous. Bro, how is Dasani still in business? It's so nasty. It's not water, bro. No it doesn't choice. freeze. What's up with it? I had no choice because that's the only hat. I really... That's facts. It's weird. That is facts. I hate Dasani, too. Yeah, I really hate Dasani. It doesn't freeze? It doesn't freeze. Have oh you seen God. like... That's like Coke. What is it? What? what Don't what they state? own Dasani? <laughs> I think so. I think so. I think so. Yeah. What state was it that had the really bad cold front? Um, Texas. I think it was Texas. Yeah. yeah. And like they're like people are like, um, my Dasani water bottles aren't freezing. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, that's worrisome. I don't know if I should be drinking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's more of another substance in there than just water. You know, if the, the water outside is freezing, yeah, the one dude. in the bottle should be freezing. Quite worrisome. Quite worrisome. That's funny. Um. <laughs> So, you know, it actually wasn't that cold in New York either. Even in the morning, it was a little chilly, but it was never like super, it usually, super cold. Like, you can get pretty hot there still. Like, the buildings yeah, stop yeah, a lot yeah. of the weather from yeah, like yeah. actually affecting the, the inner city. Yeah, it got rainy. It got rainy. Uh, uh, so, Ooh, I don't want to. So, after that first day, you know, to the Uber, we went to, got back on the train, another 35, 40 minutes back. And then we um, took the Uber back to the Airbnb. Damn. We didn't eat any good food. Uber everywhere. Yeah, we didn't eat. Any, everyone saved their money to buy stuff that they wanted from the con. So we didn't eat any good food. There's a couple of pubs I saw that I wanted to go to, but everybody walking that's, to different stores and that's shit. A shame. Uh, yeah, next time. If I ever go back to that place. No, you uh, really need to go back time. for food. If I go back next time, I'm staying in the city. I'm not taking no metro. I'm telling you. Mm, it's just mm. too loud. All right, just so. Come with me. We'll, we'll yeah. take a trip. Yeah. I'll you got to protect me from like. The no, you, he's see, just gonna laugh. No, the, the, <laughs> As you the, get robbed, the is, so much you can do. <laughs> like Victor. <laughs> the, no, the trick is you just gotta walk through the city, just mean mugging the oh, whole yeah. time. That is the truth. Yeah. Well, you, I mean, you have to like create your aura, bro. You have to pull an anime and like make an aura of but, intimidation. I, I think that's you. part of my theory, right? For New York, I'll tell oh, you. Yeah, that yeah, later. yeah. And you it, said it, earlier as a theory for it. I'm interested. But it, it's kind of wild because like literally every every person I've met that's from like the city, of, like New York, yeah. they all mean mug and they all walk they're fast. Oh man, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. they're tired like, of being hustled, bro. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. tired. I'm like, yeah, rela- you can relax here. It's it's no, you don't have to. No, we have sun. We have yeah. No, yes. no openings. No openings. <laughs> None. Always no on your guard. <laughs> My God, his defense is perfect. Ooh. I see no openings. <laughs> perfect. <God. laughs> so, so on Saturday is a con. We woke up like six. You feel me? Trying to get in line, but we didn't get there till like eight something, nine something. It was already packed. Of course. Yeah, yeah it of was course. already packed. They were there yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they were camping facts, out. Facts. Bro, what do you mean? Well, I mean, some people stay in the city, so. Yeah, Manhattan. Mm. I mean, Manhattan's dummy expensive to stay in. Mad expensive. So we, um, but it's worth it. So we got to the con. We were standing outside, but then they they told everybody to go inside because they were trying to get everybody inside to wait. We went inside. There was a line so huge it was like five sections, all full. We were in the last section of the line to Oof. wait to get into the con. Oof! Goddamn. We were there for a solid 45, 50 minutes on my feet. Some people were smart enough to bring like foldable chairs, like super small chairs mm. that they could just put down and sit down. Veterans, for sure. For sure. I was a rookie in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Veter- for, veterans, for sure. So some people brought their chairs and they're sitting down. I didn't want to sit on the floor because, no, it's no. New York. It's, yeah. <laughs> so we stood there for 45 minutes. That's when my trouble started. That's when I already wanted to leave because I have very flat feet. And yeah. so standing for very long periods yeah. of time hurt so much. My feet are also flat. I know that feel. Like incredibly cramped. That's why I don't like going to concerts that I don't have that don't have seats. Like I went to a dance guy dance concert. I had to stand the entire time. It was like three hours. Oh God, it hurt so much. So we sat in that line for like forty five minutes, and then once we left that line, we were able to. They started letting people in, and then we just kind of raced to where we needed to go. It was like um, first we got these cards. I forget I forget the company of the cards. 
Uh, hold on, it's in my PayPal because I sold the card. It, what? Yeah, I sold it. Oh. Most of the stuff I bought, I sold. Why, why did you sell it? Oh, card, card, never mind, never mind. They were giving um the Saitama pops. I see. For free. <laughs> really? They had hundreds. Dang it, dude. Oh, I should have Yeah, they had thousands of the Saitama pops. You could have got, they were like $20. Oh man! Dude. I said for free. My bad. They were twenty dollars. Oh, this man lied to my face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can buy the Saitama. And pop. he lied as naturally as he breathed. I saw mm-hmm. that. I'm from New York now. <laughs> Questionable. Hmm. New Yorkers lie to you all the time. That's a, okay. okay. Hello, open. I'm just trying to figure out the name of the man. Just trying to take up time on the podcast. I'm just trying to tell my story over here. I just want to. My bad, bro. Hold on. It's okay. I'm just gonna cry in the corner. I guess it's okay. You're if we get in dead air, you know, you could just like post. Like, oh, yeah, like, facts. Like, mm-hmm. You put like a like a PNG. No, oh, like Meta Zoo. A, it was Meta Zoo. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Meta Zoo. Meta Zoo. I never I'm heard of it, but the sure, homies told me to get it. I feel like that's. I don't. Know, I feel like that's in a plot somewhere in an anime about some well, form of like the cards were free. They're giving out the cards for free. And the artists signed the cards. There's like three artists. They all signed the cards. Yeah. They were pristine condition. They were holographic. Ooh. They put them inside like a little yeah. plastic slot, and then it's you got exciting. you got the card. You got a special card, and you got a pack, and so. I got those because the homies told me to get it. So I got it. It was free. Boom. I got those. And then we went to go wait in another line. We waited in the line for the pin and the hat that I got right here because they told me to buy the pin. I'm like, bet. I only wanted to go there for the experience. I actually didn't plan on buying anything except for like a souvenir or something. So we went to uh, went to the area where we, we wanted to buy the pins. And uh, I think my buddy had ordered a pop. You had to pre-order the pop and like reserve it. Of course. Because it's very, Everyone, very everyone's exclusive. Buying them. Everyone's buying them. Very exclusive. So we waited in another line for like 35 minutes. And then from that line, they released you to wait in the line to buy. So we were in that other line for like another 20 <laughs> minutes. When I tell you, I got so tired of lines that, <laughs> that day. Actually, the whole trip, I was tired of lines. <laughs> I'm like, please, let's not wait in another line. Well, for the record, guys, I'm not. It's not that Crest isn't a convention guy, but he, he, he my he back about is that horrible. Life. He ain't about the waiting life. Yeah. Yeah. Horrible, you know. later, lower back is bad. Yeah, when do we get to the ride? Feet. Exactly, exactly. This you know, is the ride. This <laughs> is the ride. It's a standing for long periods of time. Yeah. It's not good. And that, that's why I'm like hesitant about going to like really, really big, big cons, cons and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. like Comic Con. You have like to have E3. three. You have to have a schedule of exactly yeah. what you're doing and why you're doing. You can't go there and just be like, oh, even I just so, want to check out a con. Even so, you're gonna be in a line. You need to prepare for like three idols you want to meet and like two companies you want to see and know. Mm-hmm. That that's each going to be like an hour long endeavor. Yeah. Or sorry, I should say panels, not companies, but panels you want to see. Each of these is like an hour long endeavor, and you know you don't want to be there for like a bajillion hours in the day. Yeah. So you got to plan out. All right, what lines am I actually willing to wait in? I think it was MegaCon that had like Lucy Lawless because I love Z- I love Zena, and so we got to see Zena, and then we had like Jason Whoa, Momoa. Yeah, mm-hmm. Jason Momoa, and then like Data and Lavar Burton from Star yeah. Trek. And so yeah, we were yeah, like, yeah. these are the people. We are definitely going, going to, to see, see, yeah. Period. So, like, right yeah. when their moments were there, we were some of the first. So, we didn't see half that con. No, we Damn. did not. It's no, impossible not. to no, see it all. Well, it's not possible at all. It's, it's not. impossible. It to sucks see it all, yeah. that it's not possible, but yeah. you can't do it in one day if you that, yeah. really want to see all of it. Because there's another building where all the panels and competitions were being held too. Yep, 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 yep. And I couldn't. <laughs> I, I only went there because I had a panel there, and it, I mean, I didn't really stay for for long at the panel because it was the, it was the, it was the dubs, right? Yeah, it was the dub actors. Yeah, yeah, Demon Slayer. And I'm like, I don't know any of these people. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, no, I didn't really care for it. So I, I saved for a little bit. The, the, the dub voice actor for Zenitsu, uh, Alex Lee. Yeah, cool. yeah, he was there. Yeah, it was cool. Oh, damn. He was there. Oh, I would have enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh, well. I just, I, just, <laughs> I don't watch anything dubbed. Like I just that. despise yeah. Zenitsu, so I don't really if care. If you give me the dub actor for like, <laughs> thank you. you're a messy. <laughs> and yeah. Thank just you. Letting you know. What? Thank, I also can't stand. I can't stand Zenitsu. It's a waste of a character. Sorry. That's a, that's a fight for a different day. That's a, sorry, that's sorry. A fight no, for I'm a different day. Sorry. It's a hot I'll, I'll, I'll fight you both. It's his fine. powers are neat. Characters are waste. Sorry. I disagree, but that's okay. <laughs> I just find him annoying. That's okay. I feel you. Just Bro, like people found Asta his, annoying. His color is yellow. That's I the color of cowardice. It literally mm. color. That's that's that color theory. You should have seen it. It's also the color it chose for thunder. Mm. Mm. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. We're not doing this for Zenitsu, okay? Fine. So, <laughs> yeah. so as we're waiting in line, of course, beautiful cosplays everywhere. Very nice cosplays. Everyone Dang. put it, their heart into it. Everyone broke their backs to make their cosplays. I do. I miss saw the best cosplay. John Cena ever. He looked exactly <laughs> was it John like Cena? John Cena. No, no, you can't see him. But it was. <laughs> it was <laughs> and how was it a good John Cena cosplay? <laughs> if you saw it, 
Yeah, it's a cosplay. It doesn't it's, have to it's, be real. His earlier yeah, years yeah. when he was still in the visible light spectrum. Right. Oh, he, when he was a doctor of thugonomics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, still within the visible okay. light spectrum. Still right, 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 one okay. of us mortals. So we yeah. were able to still be with him. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before he ascended. Before, I see. Yeah, yeah. Ascended. Before okay. he was initiated. So... <laughs> There was this one dude who was Goku. People were taking pictures of him for like three hours. Must have been Dummy Soul. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Huge, mm-hmm. huge. I think I, I, I saw the, the, the guy. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you, dude. I, one thing I, I will definitely say I'm very happy with the like era of cosplay is like heck of swole people getting into cosplay oh, because, yeah. bro, it is so cool it's be- it's to best. see these it's characters the like yeah. as swole as the actual comic character be looking, dude. Yeah. And I like, I mean, they don't judge you. Oh, no, 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 no. Everyone's, everyone's equal. Everyone's equal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a lot of cross-dressing. There's a lot of dudes cosplaying women. There's a lot of ass. A lot of ass. That, that one I accept, yes. There's a, a lot, lot of, of Oh, there's... A, she should have been the Etchy Expo, bro. Son. Listen, Whew. that's... That's Son. goals. I need to hit up the Etchy Expo. There was a lot of ass. That's what I'm trying to get to. Because no Victor, one's judging. We'll we'll it's all about. safe space. It's beautiful. Just don't touch people. Yeah, yeah cosplay is not people consent. And you're good. Don't yeah, yeah, cosplay is not equal consent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't touch, yeah. and you are able to watch and, all yeah. the awesomeness. Cosplay yeah, is not yes, equal sir. consent. Nope. It's not equal consent. So, so if you see me on a con, don't touch me. Yeah, facts. I won't. I won't knock yeah. the fuck I'll, out. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll use though. my weapons. I will use what I'm armed with. Yeah, figure not. But everyone looked great. Everyone who's a cosplay looked great, and there was this awesome Funimation set. Yeah. Where they had for um they had they made like a little park like soccer trees. Oh, like a dude, bench. That's dope. It was oh, sick. That's pretty dope. Yeah, it was sick. DBZ had like a floor to themselves. I feel like they would, yeah. Son. <laughs> it was a whole maze of like straight DBZ stuff. They had a giant monkey <laughs> like as a display. I don't even know how they oh. got it in the building. I'm sure they broke it Bro, down. Listen, between Super and Dragon Ball Fighters, all right, the hype for Dragon Ball is it's crazy. just continued. Yeah. Like, I don't, and it's crazy because, like, I don't think it ever stopped. I don't think no, it's no, ever no, going to stop, dude. Like, no, no, no. DBZ is <laughs> It's never going to stop, dude. Like, it's it's been over, what, two decades and it's still going. Man. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And that's just in the States. That's just in the States. Oh, my God. It, it blew my mind when I learned that it came out in, like, 1990-something. I forget. I think it's, like, three or four, something crazy like that, where I was born. Yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. It, it was already that hype in, in Japan. Yeah. And so then it came to America. I'm like, whoa, Toonami, this is cool. But it was already, like, a Super phenomenon like, over yeah, there. It was, like, already yeah. 10 years old. Yeah, it was already yeah. people grew up on it. So there was I was like just a, getting with Dragon Ball. There was, like, a small Gundam statue, too. Oh, mm. sick, bro. I love, so I love the Gundam statues, bro. It's so sick. Like, as large as freaking table, dude. They get, they get large. Yeah. There were so many things I wanted to buy, but everything was so goddamn also very, expensive. Very broke yeah. people. So <laughs> expensive, and I needed to save money for like you know life. Yeah, yeah I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah. Save money for the the flight back. Yeah, 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 yeah. the flight back. I have bills this month. <laughs> it's gonna be a tough month. Have a one sixteenth <laughs> scale Gundam, but also no food yeah. on the table. So yeah, it's gonna be real. It's gonna be a real tough month. Yeah, I told my boss I'm gonna have to tighten my belt a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but to be fair, some of the stuff I bought, I sold, and like. Like um, the pen I sold, the cards I sold, but I also bought like uh, we went to the Nintendo store like on Sunday. I thought about it a little bit, mm. but we went to, to the Nintendo store. It was super dope. Two floors, because you know they built up in New York, so <laughs> two floors in the Nintendo store. I bought like a Kirby and like a mug. That was like thirty bucks. Cute, cute. Yeah, so it was pretty dope. So, but in the con, they um after we had waited in line for another fucking hour, we got. I got the pin. I got this hat that cost me forty nine dollars together, which is fucking ridiculous. Just the two things. So I got the cunt. I got the pin and I got this hat. I'm keeping the hat forever because it's it's a memento. It's way too expensive. Mm. So after that, we went to um, <laughs> Dad. Why did you keep this hat? It was too damn too expensive. expensive so. yeah. Monument I to the sin yeah. of capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't throwing it away. <laughs> so after that, I actually took a break. We walked around a little bit to see some of the. The areas, some of the um, the vendors and stuff like that. It was, yeah. it was so many people, too many people <laughs> to see, dude. So after that, I took a break for walking. You know, my feet were dying. I took a break, and then uh, the homie went to go see John Cena. I gave uh, my homie Stan my camera because you know you have to pay to take a picture. Mm-hmm. And I told Stan, "Yo, just turn it on and just leave it on your neck." You feel me? Just <laughs> just go see it. But he had it too low, <laughs> so he was like filming people's butts. He, he got like, how low did he have the shit on? I, it was way too low. Oh <laughs> Excuse me, God. sir. He didn't. I don't. I guess he didn't know how to adjust the strap. Canceled. I should have thought about that. <laughs> mm, canceled. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> but they were there for like another hour waiting in line. Damn. So, but I mean, Elmer was standing the whole time. He didn't care. He, he was ready to go. Yeah. 
So he um Is so it? he waited another hour. Stan then again in the picture. He got like glimpses of uh John Cena that I'm gonna have to like cut out for, doesn't, for John, doesn't John Cena live in Florida? I don't know. Possibly. Maybe. I'm sure, I'm sure he has a house here. So many celebrities live in Florida. A lot of celebrities have places. Yeah, they in live Florida. in like Delray, Miami. Yeah. Um it's Highland Highland be, Highland Beach. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, the spot. It's a place to be apparently when you're so, rich. Oh yeah, hundred percent. When you're rich. So long story short, after the con, we um we went back. Which, when did we leave that con, dude? We left it like five, six. We got there like nine, and we were there for a straight like work work day. It was like <laughs> it was a nine to five. Clocked in. Yeah, we clocked in. <laughs> yeah, you totally do. We clocked, we clocked in, in. We were locked in. You know what I'm saying? Tampa. Tampa. It was in yeah, Tampa. Florida, uh-huh. yeah. So um, I had gone to my panel. Stay, didn't stay there. I thought it was trash, obviously, because I didn't. I don't listen to the dub. I watch the dub. Oh, but. In front of me, do you remember the episode of um, Demon Slayer, whoever saw it, mm. where they had the spider family? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There were three girls in front of me that were dressed up as a different uh, That's members dope. of the spider oh, family. That's cool. It That's was dope. really dope. That's dope. I'm like, oh, this is fire. Yeah, I will say I love the um, the aesthetic looks and outfits of the spider family. Like, they were actually yeah. like, really cool. Um, like, visually, they were a really cool, like, group that times yeah. they fought. Mm-hmm. I went to the, uh, I took a glimpse at the artist Alley, too. Ooh. It was cool. A lot of, a lot of unknown people, obviously. Of course, but it was just, just stalls and stalls of art. It was really dope. A um, yeah, couple love, notable people I, I, I saw there. I love going to artist alleys, bro. That's the coolest thing ever. Yeah. I saw um, Kel from Keenan and Kel there. Wow. Yeah. Really? I don't know what he was doing there. Why he not? Just, uh, Why not? He, he just he there. Was just there. Yeah. Of course, just there. He was just standing there, at like a he had his own booth for some reason. I don't know what he was doing. People do that all the time. They literally just get the ye old actors just bring them in. Hey, man, get a table. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. People, just vibing, bro. Yeah. Who was it uh, a, at SuperCon? I saw Run DMC. Oh, really? Yeah. The Don't they have a house here too? Probably. What was he doing there? <laughs> I, I think he has like a comic book thing that he like. I don't know if he's like in charge of it or draws it or like he's got people that draw for it. But like, yeah, he's got like a like a DMC. Oh wow! Like comic book thing that That's is cool. intriguing. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Uh, so long story short, after the con, we took the train back, took another Uber. By the way, I got all the Ubers. By the way. Because I was the only, I was the one that had the app on my phone. Oh, you're a hero. What and the? I wanted to Uber download everywhere. Everywhere. You are a so hero, had, sir. I, I, t- I, t- I took the elf out of Ubers. Yeah, you Damn. Let me tell you something about traffic in New York. And we we only rode an Uber outside of the city in Queens. We didn't even go to the, we didn't even ride uh, in a car <laughs> in the city. Oh, then oh, good thing. Yeah. What? No. Hell no. Sure. No, that the way that those rides aren't. I'll tell fun. you the one thing that was consistent in New York: the traffic, the the crossing sign signals. Very consistent. They worked everywhere. Bro, they, they have to. They, they, they have worked to. everywhere. Look, bro, if you're if you mess up the traffic signs and a signal, that is it's billions over. of dollars shifting around in the wrong direction. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. don't want. You know? Yeah. It's Can't crazy. mess it up. Can't mess it up. So in Queens, we had uh Oh yeah, dude. Oh my god, yeah. All of our Uber drivers were like the best drivers ever. Very offensive. Everyone in New York. Very offensive. No, you have to drive offensively in New York. Yeah, own it, dude. But the issue is like they honk for no reason. So Yeah. Yeah, like, I know what you mean. We'll be at a red light and like it's if a the red light. light. <laughs> no, but if the light, if you don't anticipate the light turning green two seconds before oh, you're done, it turns oh, green, yeah. it's a hump. You're as soon as it's green, and then, I'm like, you should have known. It just turned half a second ago. No, 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 no. You should have known beforehand. You should have been should running be there. There. already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You should have been halfway through the intersection before yeah, it turned. Before when, they, when, they, when they say jump, you need to be in the air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah trust me. Son, you everybody, are driving different. Every Uber I went in, every honking for no reason. Damn. Some people just honked and then he honked back for nothing. <laughs> this is I'm like, like what would you even do that for? Bro, know. no, it's a it's, 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 it's another language. It's yeah. code up there, no, it's bro. another language. No, for sure. Hundred percent. We beep, almost beep, like beep, one of my Ubers beep, almost beep. hit a guy. That's what it is. He almost hit a guy and then it, kept it going. was just so nonchalant. He would have kept going. He just kept going and then like the other dude just walked past. Like yeah, he, it no, wasn't even a... like I'm walking here. And then he was just like oh <laughs> he was like oh my bad and he just, he just walked like it was another fucking Sunday. I'm like what? It is. Well that it is. That's the problem. It <laughs> is. Like, this is nasty sauce. So we were in uh in Queens we were in pretty much like Spanish Central. All the we had like all the Spanish <laughs> stores, all the stalls, all the little taco uh Taco oven and uh, they're not trucks. They're like, what are they? Are they stalls? It's like, it's like a hot like dog carts. stand. Type it's thing, like right? a cart. cart yeah, stand, I guess stall. maybe stand stall. One stand of them. Stall. Car stand stall. Yeah, yeah, all the taco stalls and stuff cart like that. Stand stall. Son, we went to this is the crazy shit ever. We went to none of us brought towels, and there was only like I'm sorry, what? 
one towel, two towels provided in the Airbnb. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, towel. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So, I, well, I thought you're as a towel, we were in like before. as we were in the Queens, there's mad stories. Like we went to the supermarket and everything. Actually, my Spanish came in handy. Oh, hey, yeah. Hola, como estas? Kind of, kind of, yeah. Cuatro. <laughs> yeah, that's all you got. Dos agua. Yes. That's all you got. Dasani, por favor. That's all I got. <laughs> So we went to no a, Dasani, por favor. Dasani, por favor. We went to a ninety nine cent store, right? And everything is so squished together. I yeah. hate it so much. Everything is so squished. Yeah. This what? tiny space is a store. So we went to a ninety nine cent store to buy towels. Very low quality towels, by the way. Very low quality. The red's falling out yeah, as it yeah, gets yeah, wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lint everywhere. Very low quality. <laughs> Bro, it's a dollar. <laughs> it's a literal dollars. It wasn't, Victor. That's the issue. Uh, what? Oh, it, was, it was 50 cents it to make. It was $7. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it was $7. Bro, for the, you should have went to like a Bed Bath Beyond and bro, got a whole set. I bought I bought a loofah and a towel. Nigga, that what are you else? trying to get? Just guess, what are you, what? No, no. I bought a loofah. You said Bed Bath and Beyond. You think in Florida. Yes. This is New York. <laughs> I bought a loofah and a towel, and that shit cost me like $20. And they, they had the nerve to ask me if I wanted a bag. I say yeah. She said you're gonna have to buy the bag. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. You have to buy ain't, the shit, bags. ain't shit free in New York. Like, is it like, a, like a plastic like with Nixie bag. Or? We went to the supermarket and we had to buy the bag in the supermarket. We bought drinks. We had to buy the bag. The bag was like forty cents, but it was a good, like sturdy bag. Forty. But you have cents? to buy the bag. Yeah, no, no free bags. What? You have to purchase 40 things. cents. Yeah, oh, interesting. It's like I 40 mean, cents for the bag. I did, uh, buying the bag isn't unheard of because you do that Aldi. You do that Aldi. Yeah, yeah, Publix right, got right, their right, special right. bags. Yeah, if you buy, your, yeah, you can buy your own special bag. When I was in Orlando it. a couple weeks ago, I was shopping in Uniqlo. You have to buy the bag. We yep. went to Uniqlo. It's, Intriguing. It was like, I've never seen that before. The bag is like 10 cents. It's Interesting like 10 cents. experience. Nice. But it's like, one of those really good, like it's quality, a good quality plastic, bag. Yeah. you know, like those string backpacks. Oh, fine. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's that's Uniqlo's bag. Okay, okay, oh, okay. And it's only ten cents. Okay, so, no, the bag we had was like the public shopping bag. Yeah, you know the ones you buy in like reusable. Yeah, reusable. The it was yeah, it's like a tote. Yeah, it's like a tote. It was like forty cents. Okay, okay, mm. okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I guess okay. That was tote material, but it wasn't tote strength. You feel me? Oh, true, true. Yeah, yeah like, true. like it's, a, it's a poser. Tone. Like, did yeah, you keep yeah, yeah. the bag? Is what I'll say. Do no. I have it? Like, still? are they bags worth keeping? No. Yeah, I mean, don't you break. can reuse them, but they'll, they'll break, break after like the second or third. Yeah, trip. they'll break over I see, time. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Okay. So that startled me. I'm like, I'm never coming to this nine nine cent store and spending a hundred dollars again. <laughs> it's <was> ridiculous. <laughs> Everything was very expensive. If I spend a hundred dollars at a ninety nine cent store, I should get a hundred items. I, <laughs> bro, I better have hundred percent, or I've been lied to. This I'm is not a ninety nine oh, cent store. Side track. Did you know uh, Dollar Tree is changing their name to so what? Dollar Plus. It's not. <laughs> it's not going to be like all ninety nine cents plus. anymore. All of our items are potentially above a dollar. Yeah. Huh. yeah, yeah. Now you don't know the price. Like, and all, all the stuff that was like fifty cents are now a dollar. A dollar. Like, dollar. <laughs> 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 Everything is a dollar force. Oh my god. It's funny. I didn't know that. Yeah. Just a little, really little, little tidbit. Well, there. I mean, you can't really go off a dollar anymore. Stop no, awesome. yeah, you can't do anything off. A you dollar. really can't. So went to Arizona's this. trying, but I feel like they might even change soon. Arizona so, tea. Mm. Oh really? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it might. Dollar thirty nine. Listen, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be two dollars real soon. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, dude. There are some pretty tall. Just drinks, too much like, liquid. Yeah, yeah. Just too much liquid. Yeah. So after this fake ninety nine cent store, <laughs> <laughs> we're back to the you know we're back to Airbnb. We ordered like a I want an authentic pizza at least. So uh, we got like uh, a you, you are a New good York. New York pizza. It's pretty good. It's fine. It's from you know some dude named Sal. Plus five pizzas. Skills. Every person I met that's from New York, they talk about how the pizza is good because of the water. You know? What? Yeah, they're like, oh, the water in New York, it's like the best water. That's why the food tastes so much better and stuff like that, right? And then they come down here and they complain. Oh, my God. <laughs> Go back. You want that authentic New York pizza? pizza. Yeah, no. You're not going to get that here. It's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't drink any water from any tap. I can tell Everything you right now that water. I had the Evian. I, I bought the high quality water. There you go. Yeah. You gotta cleanse out the Dasani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta cleanse the Dasani, bro. That's it's clean my water, lungs. Bro. So, <laughs> <laughs> so long story short, after after the con on Sunday, they woke up early. Everybody wanted to go back to the city shop. I wanted to stay home, but I was on a trip. So all right, fuck it, let me go. And we walked. A solid four miles, bro. 
Uh, we walked to every store. So we we first we took the train to Flushing, which is like Asian Central. Yep. It was super dope. We went to this um anime store called uh, I think the Anime Garden or something like that. Mm. Went to the anime store where you got like go down the steps and into like the little, well, it's like uh, you, yeah into yeah. the store into the store. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, dope. I like I like stores like that. That's yeah. me too. They're really there's cozy. a bunch in like Boston like that. Yeah, it's like a really niche like anime store. Right. All the manga you could read from like wherever you want. They had um. They, I wanted to get one of the little posters. The wall like, scrolls. Open the wall scrolls. Yep. Oh. But those were like twenty two dollars. I'm like nah. Yeah. yeah. No thanks. Everything was expensive. Like I said, I didn't buy anything there. But they had figurines, wall scrolls, cards, pins, whatever you want. It was there. It's pretty dope. We had to like everyone had to like put their bags down and stuff. Yeah. yeah. There's an area to put your bags down. You know, niggas is stealing. Mm, that makes sense. Yeah. They do that. But uh, flushing was I, flushing was fine. Actually, I didn't have a problem. The only issue was that it started raining. Or we're walking, mm. and so we had to kind of chill under like the awning of some stores or whatever. It was it was a typical New York experience. Yeah. So, oh, we also went to this um candy shop, this Asian candy shop. I wanted to get the candies that I had before. I forgot what they were called. You know, oh, little, the, the little square ones. The little square ones. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to get those, but they square didn't have ones? those. I'll show, like? you, I'll show you later. All I don't right. remember what they're called, but they didn't have them, so I ended up getting Pocky. Where's my Pocky? Huh? You can get high chews anywhere now. You get high chews. They were high chews. Which is quite wild. High chews yeah. have gotten but I got super pocket. popular. Gang? Is that dark chocolate? Oh, are you talking about those little mini double square packs you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are yeah. delicious. Those are fire. Those Did you just get regular pocket? I, well, I had another box. I ate that. Okay. I had Ooh. a strawberry one and cookies and cream. Yeah, red is cookies and cream one. Those are fire. Mm-hmm. Those are fire. Mm-hmm. Love That's why they're gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just got, I just got the OG pocket. You also yeah, got to yeah. get the OG pocket. So, got some pocket. We got they got the uh, the homies bought some stuff from the anime store and then we went uh back to uh, the city. We took the train down to the city, uh thirty fourth and Hudson, and then we walked everywhere. We went to um we went to Uniqlo, but that was like later on. But we mm-hmm. went to Uniqlo. The boys bought some um uh, bought some clothes. The boys had money to spare, dude. I don't know how much money they brought. They bought stuff at the cons, they bought stuff at the stores. I'm like, y'all rich rich. So <laughs> We went to Uni Club. We went to the Nintendo store. That's where I bought something. I bought like a, a mug for my boss because he's a cool dude. So I got him a oh. mug. You said Kirby, right? And then Kirby I got for Tosh, Ashton's girlfriend. Mm. I got her Kirby. Nice, um, and then we went to um, we went to that BTS yeah, store. That guy. <laughs> What the hell was that? Oh, it's the Kirby. Oh, the Kirby thing. Oh, the, Kirby. Kirby. Oh. the sucky suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> so, stupid. Mm-hmm. So, so we went to uh, the, sorry, the BTS store. It was like one with a giant bear. I don't know. Momo probably mm-hmm. knows better than me. Like BTS is like BTS, BTS, like BTS as in the, the K-pop, K-pop group. Yeah, the K-pop. Group. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bang Tang Soyeondan. Yeah. Them. Is that the name? Yeah. That's what it means. I mean, like that was like Bulletproof their Proof Boys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was like their Korean name. Does right? Bulletproof the, Boys mean BTS? Oh no, BTS. Mean, Okay. I'm sorry. I see that now. Yeah. I see yeah. what I've done now. You got it. And that was in um that was in sorry. Times Square. Mm. They had sorry. that like right next to Times Square. So we had to walk through like a gang of people to even get to that store. I didn't even go inside. My what color they rep? Huh? <laughs> what colors they rep you said? Who we fire. Who we fire. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. <laughs> so say what color they rep. I was gonna ask that. Fuck around, and get beat up. Bro, get <laughs> shot, shot, bro. bro. Get shot, shot, bro. Yeah. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, by the useless cops there. But <laughs> Damn. so useless. Them boys were just sitting around drinking coffee. I thought I was a political. Per guy. usual, like this is this Pol- is facts. Politics. <laughs> Whatever you see in the movies is facts. I mean, like, can you blame them? Do you see the size of their fucking it's a building? It's huge. It's a lot. Yo, it's a huge city. I understand. It's a lot. But you know, do something. <laughs> it's like a gang of them. Just- it's like, it's like, like try, like, yeah, do at least attempt, <laughs> at least pretend to do something, yeah. something, right? So after the um, after that BTS store, we went to a GameStop that was there that had like a underground area. It was pretty. Dope. I didn't go down there. I went back outside and I sat down. You know, my feet because <laughs> I didn't want to buy anything at GameStop. I was just looking for if I could have bought a PS Five, I would have. But no, for trips like that, yeah. you gotta buy insoles. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I got it. It's. Gotta come prepared. Out of, out of sight of mind, yeah. Indeed, next brother. time. No, hindsight. hindsight. Yeah, yeah, next time. So we went to the pretty, like three or four stores. I can't remember all the stores. Three or four stores. 
And then um, after that, where, where did we go? We went to the GameStop store. Nintendo Where'd y'all store, end up going BTS to eat? Mm-hmm. Nowhere. I told you, we didn't eat good food. <laughs> Dang. We just, okay. We just went. Oh, I did eat like a, some, like a shish kebab, though. Cool. Because cool, cool. I had to at least have one. There's like mad vendors everywhere. Yeah. Sure, sure. Every corner had like a vendor. Yeah, yeah. yeah Which is weird. Like, how did y'all, y'all, y'all not eat? Like, there's so many vendors. We didn't. Yeah. We just ate back at the, at, at the uh, Airbnb. Oh, I see. We didn't, I see, I see. We didn't really eat out. I wish we would have, but mm-hmm. after, that's something I would have spent money on. But we didn't. Damn. The other boy just wanted to buy stuff. <laughs> so I'm like, whatever. All right. So um, after that, I had got me like a chicken shish kebab from the from the one dude. It's like $6. I don't know if that was a real price, but mm. I imagine six bucks. Just yeah. about. It was pretty big. So yeah, I can no, see it being bucks. about six bucks. Six bucks for about, right? Yeah. So after that, there was another food truck like across the street from our Airbnb. So we ate there too. It's a cool dude. We we actually got breakfast there too. It was pretty good. Um, so I have a I have a theory about New York, right? All right, yeah. let's oh, I was ready. Thank you. I want it. So my theory about New York is it's actually a shit place, but <laughs> we know. But is that, uh, <laughs> that's a theory. Is, is that a theory? So <laughs> let me tell you, how I came to so my. The thing <laughs> is though, the people in New York. They see because when you wake up, when I woke up in the morning in Queens, I look out the window. You see like the silhouette of the city. Sure. And I'm like, that looks like dreams are over there. Sure. Right? So when you say when you're out in the hood, sure, sure. And you're chilling, you wake up and you're grinding every day. Like one day, I'll make it to the big city type of thing, right? It's like Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Kind of. Emerald City. Kind of. Yeah. Right on the right. Right down right there. there. You just take the train there. So, my theory is that people in New York are actually kind of like mind fucked in the Lord. By the promise of making it in the big city, but they don't actually get there. But because they see it every morning in like their silhouette, they always feel like it's a possibility when it's not. Right. Oh. So even in the city, because I told you everybody hustles, homeless don't matter, hustle. Mm. So even in the city, there were these dudes who were selling like fake Louis V, fake Gucci. All they did was drop a mat on like the sidewalk and yeah. just yeah. put other stuff down. Of out. course. And I'm people like, people do that all the time everywhere. Like, did you go to Chinatown? Yeah, dude. Like, and I'm like, these people, these people are delusional. Who in the right mind would buy this? <laughs> you would be surprised, lot, dude. A lot. You would be surprised. But, but I'm like, is this how you plan to make it in the city? Is this how you plan? Because uh, my thing, my thing is that them, yeah. if you're not rich or have a business, there's no reason to be in New York. A lot of no. The thing is, dude. A lot, a lot of times, or in, though, in the places that I went. No, but also a lot of times, like it'll make enough money to get you by and still do the happy things you want to do. So they don't mind not having an entire. They're business. all African dudes and, and too. I, don't know. I agree, yeah, yeah. and they don't mind not having a whole whole business. They'll be like, hey, just selling this every day, I get a few hundred bucks. I'm making a couple hundred bucks a day. I'm good. I come home, my family's happy and fed. All right, I'm gonna keep reselling the things I'm reselling. Let me tell you how you know? my theory reigned true. There was this dude who was just walking around. First of all, I think it's a thing to play music out loud in New York. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's stupid. It's already noisy. So <laughs> there was this dude who was just walking back and forth, like rapping, right? And he's like within the crowd because everyone's walking and it feels like you're part of the hustle and bustle because everyone feels like they have an important place to go. So everyone's like, get out of my way. I'm going to the. I have a meeting with a big guy in like a, a company or something. Sure, it always sure. seems that way when they're walking. So this dude is just walking back and forth like he's part of the crowd, like he has somewhere to be. But he just turned around and just walked the other <laughs> way and then just start rapping. I think you, I think you ran into an NPC. Maybe. That's, definitely, that's definitely what happened, dude. Like, like he's, got, he's got scripted movements. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, this guy's stuck. He's stuck in the allure. He's stuck in the matrix of New York. Who goes there? Right, right. <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking at? I guess, it was, I guess, I guess it, it was nothing. I guess it was nothing. That's the wind. That's what it must have been. Must the wind. have been the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that Shout out Caleb City. He did a funny one with that. Oh my god! But yeah. I'm like, this man is he's stuck in the in the New York Matrix. Because does he think if he walks back and forth rapping? Dr. Dre's gonna come out and hear him <laughs> and be like, yo, you. Yes, though, also. I'm gonna sign you. There's, I, I've heard stories that about that. Happen, like people though. that uh, hang out outside of, was it 106 and Park? Right, right, they, right, they right. Just wait, wait outside yeah. for a chance to get into the studio. Yeah. And it's like, damn. And, that's, just, and you can do that if you want, but we're in the future. You have streaming sites to do that. You can yeah. put your music future. out wherever. It depends on if they can get access to those sites, though. If well, they, sure, of course. If. 
if it, you're gonna it, hustle, hustle the, the correct way. Don't hustle oh, yeah. backwards. You feel me? I, you gotta I, go forward I, with the times. The thing I've learned is, like, dudes who try to sell me a CD, where am I gonna play it? Technology is <laughs> moving really fast, and a lot of the youth are getting into <clears> it, and like, it's great. But I think a lot of people still just aren't actually as comfortable with technology as we think that a lot of like rural people, rural people should be, and they are definitely. Not averse to it, but definitely not proficient or efficient with it. And so they literally will get scared or like fear themselves out of actually just trying to sit down, learn streaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? With the amount of taxes in New York, I'm surprised not everybody, if like, like I said, if you're not rich, it it depends on who's getting taxed. That's the issue. It depends on who's getting taxed. Taxed in general. And then who's, I I agree. But it depends on how rich you are. Because if you're super rich, it really doesn't matter what the taxes That's are That's what saying. I'm saying. You know? If you're not rich yeah. or have some sort of business, there's no reason to be, especially in the city. Yeah. There's no reason to be in the city at all. Yeah. So I haven't been uptown, which I which I figure is probably nicer. But if you everywhere you walk, you have to look down. You might step on shit. Or yeah. like there's, I mean, gum, they have the nerve to have construction gum. going. I'm like, what else are you building? There are, there's no space here. They're building up, bro. They're just going. Like, they're, yeah, isn't they're just it like building. a height? Just going. Like, it's just like building. A, ceiling, height ceiling. Yeah, isn't it like a, <laughs> it's like, a it's like how It's like how I-95 is like always going to be. It's just always, always going to be Yeah, right? always going to be under construction. Because yeah. after they finally finish with their building, by the time they finish it, they already have to renovate what yeah. they originally started with on the road. Yeah. And so they end up fixing a road, going down here, realizing that they need to go back and fix this one. This end That's cycle. why me and my homies stay on the turnpike. Facts. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sound the turnpike. I take it home. So let me be clear, though. Of the places I went, I don't think people who can afford to move out of Florida, of New York should be in there. You you can go. I promise you, you can go. <laughs> you can. I go. know. <laughs> I know <laughs> the city looks like, like I'm allowing it. You I, can go. You can go. <laughs> I'm releasing you. <laughs> I know the city looks like it's selling you a dream, and it's a wonderful place to visit. But to live there every day, because the thing is, everyone's blind. They have the nerve to have a fashion week in that. Horrible looking like there's trash everywhere, by the way. I don't understand. The thing is, I don't understand the, the theory behind the trash, because if you're going to have trash on the sidewalk, why not create like a bin or something to put the trash in? or just make way more jobs of street cleaners and then make a society that is OK with cleaning up after themselves. But even then, the traffic is so bad. Imagine getting a garbage truck to where you need to pick doesn't up the trash. Doesn't it's crazy. To, doesn't need to be garbage they, they guys. Need to be garbage people who walk around. With, have or a trash you could just have a truck. And if it could be like Uber for garbage. It, it, Uber for garbage. It, I mean, there are take, trucks there. There are, but again, it, but they yeah. wake it just up takes at too long. crack dawn, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it just takes four a.m. It takes what? Got two, to. It takes like two, three hours for the street to get as dirty as it was the pre- previous yeah, day, dude. Yeah. So like, that's the issue. It needs to be a continuous. Uh, commitment and Listen, consistency. I'm, I'm fixing infrastructure right now. Get Uber garbage. <laughs> yeah, Uber, Uber pay garbage. Pay people to pick up the garbage. You can if everyone's hustling, pay someone to, who has. I mean, who has a truck. That's a who wants idea. to do that? Pick idea. up the garbage. That might have like. Uh, come on, yeah. I'm not mad at that idea. I'm not trying to get in nobody's car that smells like garbage though. It's so they don't have to get. It's okay. a truck. You don't have to be. No, it does inside just, the car. Uber, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Bro, so watch, because some, somebody garbage be like, oh, will not can. double as an Uber, Uber ride. ride. I feel like I feel like somebody might do that though. <laughs> it's a different company, different company, it's a different company, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, first of all, you, you have to start with a sorry, like, no, 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 there's the share op- There's a share option. <laughs> you get in the car. Uber. There's a fucking trash yeah, yeah, bag yeah, next yeah, to right? you. Oh, sorry, I gotta drop that off first. Drop that off right quick. But the Uber, but like the Uber is cheaper, so that's why people do it. You know. But oh, I feel like there are solutions to the, the problem <laughs> of it being gross over there, and they just don't care. And the, th- the thing is, like, people just walk past it. Listen, I saw people dressed to the nines. You know, it's a little chilly. And that's when you can dress dress. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A couple layers, layers bro. Boy. Bro, they were dressed ready to go out into the night. <laughs> but almost stepping on shit on the way there. And passing piles of garbage. And just the, not looking. Just the, nonchalant. The, the like, price every of day. business, it's crazy. bro. Yeah, man. It's crazy to me. Listen. Wonderful place to, to visit. It looks nice. Everything's hustling, bustling. I don't like people, so not for me. We have to walk through <laughs> loads and loads of people. I don't like that. You can't look anybody in the eye, or else gonna hustle oh, you. Man. So or fight you. Yeah, facts. or fight you. Facts. Not for me. That's New rough, York isn't man. for me. I'll visit again for food with Victor. What an adventure! That's about it. I yeah. feel like you it's an exhausting re- city. Hmm? I feel like you really would have liked Lower East, uh, Lower East Side, or East Village. Take me, bro. I'll go with you. The 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 udon place I recommended is in Lower East Side. Is in Lower East Side? Okay. The aesthetic in Lower East Side is not much like 
it's actually a little more suburbish than Manhattan suburbish. proper. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm but with it's it. still in Manhattan. Okay. Suburbish. Suburbish. So next time we'll go get food. Oop. Yeah, I'm with that. But that's about it. Just don't. don't. You, you, if you can afford to leave, Sorry. just go. Just, just get out of New York, man. Come back and visit your parents. <laughs> actually, quick story. We met a dude. We went to the post office there to mail all our stuff back. Because a lot of you can't take it all in the plane. We yeah, all have uh, carry Especially if you fly spirit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No thanks. Lol. So we mailed everything back. And then this one dude came. who um, Scraggly looking dude. Uh, couldn't really speak well. Um, older sorry, dude. Smelled a bit. Um, he asked, uh, "What? That's that old people smell." Mm-hmm. Old people smell. Okay. He asked my friend's girl, "Like, ma'am, do you know how to write?" He's like, "Yeah." She's like, "Yeah, sure." Uh-oh. All right. So he he was writing a letter to his mom, oh, wholesome, who man, lived man. in Florida, oh. and, he, and um, she said that she's from Florida. He's like, "What part are you from?" And she's like, "Boynton Beach." She's like, "No, I used to live there." I'm like, "What?" In my head, I'm like, "Why are you here?" <laughs> <laughs> Why are you but, here? Chasing but that American dream. He ended up in jail. Oh well, he ended up in like prison. I forgot what it was for. He ended there up in prison, go. and then they shipped him back to New York because I guess he was born and raised here. Wow! So they shipped him back to New York and they put him in jail in New York. Wow! And then he's been there ever since. This is like a dude who was like he's probably homeless, but uh. but he probably was just like maybe down on his luck because he was. I mean, he could afford to mail a card. Yeah, to, yeah, his, yeah. to his mom in Florida. That's rough. Yeah, but and I'm like. He lived in uh, Boynton for like 12 years or something like that. Huh. And then because he ended up going to jail, circumstances happened, he ended up back in New York. Damn. That was crazy. I'm like, damn, bro. You could have just stayed in, you know, what? It's, this is paradise compared to <laughs> over there. <laughs> what I did see were pigeons, though. I didn't see any rats, surprisingly. I yeah, did see yeah, pigeons. Pigeons, yeah. pigeons freak me out. Like yeah. nighttime, bro. I didn't realize how, like, like, thick they were. Yeah, yeah they're <laughs> some fat dudes. Some fat, fat yeah, birds. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That <laughs> I expected, like yeah. especially compared to like the birds down here, like these birds are like kind of skinny. They're not, yeah. I, obviously, they're not pigeons, but like yeah, you know, they just I, I didn't I didn't realize. Yeah, they, don't like, feed them enough. They they there's not an shakes. overabundance of trash and food on the ship. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't feed honest, them enough here. Yeah, that really is it. We just don't feed them as often as much, and like, nah, I, I like, dude, that is the main point. Like, there is really a lot of trash from to eat off of yeah. daily there. Daily. So mm-hmm. literally, getting, they're getting obese because there's so much <laughs> food available. Obese. Yeah, same <laughs> with the rats, bro. The, the <laughs> rat pigeon epidemic. Dude, it's the same with the rats, bro. The rats in big cities are getting to like the size of cats and yeah. like yeah. raccoons and crap. Why? Because they keep eating. Yeah, <laughs> this everything. Is, this is a video I keep seeing of like this rat in the subway, and he's like dragging along a piece of like bro, pizza I saw, up oh the God. stairs. <laughs> I saw that video, bro. He's that's a grown man. He's feeding his family, dude. Jeez. Like <laughs> trying to feed Michelangelo and the rest of the brothers. Thank God I didn't see any rats, bro. I would just took the flight back. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm done shitting in New York. New Yorkers, I love you. Thank you for listening to our oh podcast. Oh my god! But don't hate me because I'm I'm not from there. But I don't know the allure. I don't know the love. Oh man! I don't think I'll ever know the love of of like the big city or even the queens. To be honest Thank with you. you. I won't know the love, but I appreciate everyone. Who oh, also, really quick, from everyone, York. because he didn't let me tell my story. No, it's been an hour and a half. I'm going to bring it up into the IQ next podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be ready. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Let's I go, didn't forget go. you. I just didn't pay attention. No, nah, we just numbers. kept talking, bro. It's fine. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a lot. Was, I mean, it was that's hilarious. what a podcast is for. That's what it was for, bro. Yeah. We talking. Yeah, but my camera's about to die. I understand. Yeah, 100%. Bad, yeah. Awkward. <laughs> Look, I didn't do 4K. It would have died by now. Done. Done, done. I posted the vlog about New York on. On um on our YouTube page, so if you go there, you can watch it. Um, and do day two. Uh, hopefully, I get it done by Sunday. Vlogs are actually very easy to, to edit. I see why people just mm. spit them out all yeah. the time. Pretty it's easy. already chronological, you know. Just, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Top, yeah, top, top, it's top. just numbers. Yeah. So I put the uh, other one out on Sunday. Thank you for listening to our podcast. You can find us on Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple, Apple, Apple Play Music Podcast, Apple Podcast, there Apple we go. Podcast, Jesus. Uh, and YouTube, YouTube's out on Saturday, hopefully, because we're recording a day late and they mess up my schedule. Sorry, no blames, but I'm gonna do my best to get everything out on Saturday. Cool, cool. Cracks, thanks for coming again. No problem. You no, know, I appreciate so y'all being, being here. here. YouTube, okay. Praxy plays. Check out his stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Album soon come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also in the works. Album soon so, come. Stay tuned for that. Thank y'all for listening. It's been a lot about nothing. Peace. Johnny. Johnny. Go eat your ribs.